Okay. You can use another piece of paper um, if you want to squeeze, because otherwise you want to have to do a small squeeze them in. So I want to go to a new sheet of paper, and here is a protractor. Now remember, what you're going to do is you're just going to start off by drawing a straight line in your paper, like so. Now, you take your protractor and line it up so that the center piece is right here. Now, remember, it depends on which way you're going. So, 94 degrees if you were opening, like let's say the line was on this side, like so, 94 degrees would open up this way. Okay? If your line is over here, and this may be whether depending on how you look at which way you want to go, it makes no difference. You're going to open it up this way. Now, obviously, you don't have an interactive one like this. So what you do is just think about where that mark is going to be when you turn around. And then you go to 94 and you put a dot. And all you do then is use a straight edge and connect that dot to your center dot. And then you have... A 94 degree angle. Alright? Next one, 33 degrees. I'm gonna go from this side just to mix it up. I bring this down, turn it this way. Right there. Now remember, 33 degrees, if it's opening this way, you're gonna use the inside numbers 31, 32, 33. So about right there, 33. And you just put a dot on the edge of it. Then take a straight edge, connect the dot to right there. And now you've created a 33 degree angle. Just gonna keep going. Draw a line. We're gonna do 165. Did not mean to do that. Come on, there you go. 165. Again, I'm going this direction this time. So 165 would open up and keep going and keep going and keep going. It would be out here at 165. So I just put a dot like so. Use a straight edge. Connect. And now I have 165 degree angle. Now I'm just mixing it up going left and right, back and forth, because you can do it either way. Makes no difference. Slide this on down. So this time we're doing 108. So if I'm coming up in this direction, it's going to be more than 90. And there's 110. Back it up two little hash marks about there. Straight edge. Connect. I kind of messed that up, so I'm just going to get that bad boy a little bit more lined up, and there we go. And so that is 108 degrees. Then last but not least, 27 degrees. Put this down here. 27, 10, 20, 25, 26, 27. Put a dot out there. Straight edge. Connect the dot. And now we have a 27 degree angle. So there you have it. A bunch of perfect angles. No matter whether you go left or right, makes no difference. Now let's get the rest of this done. A segment bisector. Is a point. Or a line. That divides a segment. Into. 
two equal, that's a key word here, parts. So just draw a line on your paper. A, C, you can freehand it to be equal. And we're going to use the hash marks to say that those two segments are equal, congruent. So A, B is congruent to B, C. This point B divides the line segment into two equal parts. And once again, we could have had a line come through here and cut that in half. Makes no difference. So, example one. This is not on your paper. If B is the point midpoint, so we're just going to label A, B, C. And B, C is 21. And A, C is 42. So the whole thing is 42. This is 21. Well, if B is the midpoint, <laughs> this has to be 21. And you can verify that those two add up to 42. B is the midpoint. We're told that this is x plus 13 and 3x minus 9. So go ahead and fill those in. Now, if B is the midpoint, this segment and this segment are equal. Therefore, you can say that this segment is equal to that segment. And now we solve. We minus x. And since I don't have a lot of room, I'm going to do this on the same line. I'm moving the x's to the right. I'm going to move the numbers to the left. So the x's cancel over here and the numbers cancel here. I'm left with 2x is equal to 22. Divide by 2 x is 11. Now, it's pay attention to directions. Sometimes they'll say solve for x. Sometimes they'll say find the length of AB or BC or AC. Or it might ask for all or any combination of those. So make sure you pay attention what it's asking for. You can stop right here. But if I, like if you look at number three, solve for x and AB. Now, it wouldn't be very hard. You would just plug this in. 11 plus 13 is 24. And BC should be the same thing. 3 times 11 is 33, minus 9 is 24. If you're supposed to find AC, 24 times 2 is 48. So again, A, B, C. Your information is that this is 2x plus 6, and this is 5x plus 2. Well, let's think about this. If this is 2x plus 6, what is this going to be? Right, 2x plus 6. So there's two ways to set this problem up. You can say, well, this plus this is equal to this. Or you could say there's two of these. equal to that. You're going to get the same thing because here's 2x plus 2x which is 4x. 2 times 2x is 4x. 6 and 6 is 12. 2 times 6 is 12. Okay. So once again I'm going to do both on the same line. I'm going to subtract 4x and move the numbers to the right only because I want to get a positive x. If I move it to the left I get a negative 1x and I have to do an extra step. So I'm moving the numbers to the left. What does that give me? Gone, gone. 1x equals 10. Not finished yet. Plug it back in. AB is 2 times 10 plus 6. There we go. Angle bisector. Angle bisector is a ray, and it's a ray because we're dealing with angles. That divides an angle into two 
congruent angles. So if you remember in the previous section, we had angle, uh, angle sum and angle subtraction, where we had a ray inside and the two smaller angles added up to the third. Well, this is similar, except in this case, it's not only somewhere in the middle, it's exactly in the middle, cuts it in half. So, go ahead and draw this. Try to make it look as even as possible. That's not very good. But we put these arc marks to say that they are equal. And we have A out here, and O here, and C here, and B here. So what we're going to say is angle AOB is congruent to angle BOC. And OB, the ray, is an angle bisector. And remember, if you think about science, when you had earthworms or fetal pigs, to dissect is to cut, well, to bisect, by meaning two, is to cut into two equal parts. Okay, example four. Something cut off, this should be OB is a bisector of AOC. So here's AOC and there's OB. If AOC is 84, so the entire angle here is 84 degrees. Find AOB and BOC. Well, if this is 84, 84 divided by two, because it's gotta be equal, is 42. So therefore, AOB is 42 degrees and BOC is 42 degrees. Example five. Again, this got cut off, I apologize. OB is an angle bisector. A, O, C, B. Well, BOC right here is 4X plus 6. And AOB right here is 2x plus 14. Well, once again, if that's a bisector, those two have to be equal. So I can just say this equals that. Now this time I'm going to go to the left. Once again, I'm trying to keep it positive. I'm going to move the numbers to the right. Cancel, cancel. 2x's is equal to 8, so x is 4. Uh, the directions aren't on here, so I apologize. It's supposed to be find x, which we have done. Again, if you wanted to find the angles, plug in 4. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 6 is 22. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 14 is 22. AOC would be, then be 44. Okay, again, OB. AOCB. So BOC right here is 3x plus 4. AOC, the entire thing, is 8x plus 2. Well, remember, this must be 3x plus 4. So again, we can write 3x plus 4 plus 3x plus 4, or we can do the short, shortcut like so. Two of these is equal to this. That gives me 6x plus 8, remember, you distribute to both, equals 8x plus 2. Now I'm going to move the, the letters left, variables left, I mean, sorry, right, to keep it positive, and move my numbers left. Cancel, cancel. 6 is equal to 2x, which means x equals 3. If we wanted to go further, you could plug it in. 3 times 3 is 9. Plus 4 is 13. So this is 13 degrees. That's 13 degrees, which makes this one 26 degrees. And if you plug it in 3 times 8, 
get 24, plus 2 is 26. Okay, this is not in your paper, so you're just going to draw this. Okay, you can hit pause and write this down real quick. Uh, if BD bisects EBC, so this right here bisects this angle right here. Measure of EBD is 4x plus 16, and DBC is 6x plus 4. Find EBD. The actual measure, that's what M means, the measure of it. Okay? Well, once again, if it's a bisector, then these two are equal to each other. I'm going to go right with my variables, and I'm going to go left with my numbers. X's cancel, numbers cancel. I'm left with 12 is equal to 2X, so X is equal to 6. I'm going to plug 6 in to 4X plus 16. That's 24 plus 16, so that's 40 degrees for E. 